and welcome back to Bible Stories with Isabella Jane and Rosie. Yeah, the weather's getting warmer, things in South Africa are, are calming down a little bit. But that does mean we do need to remain really careful though. Yeah, we always have to stay careful. But thank you so much for watching Bible Stories. We love doing this, don't we? Yeah, we do. And in fact, this week, Rosie, we have another amazing miracle performed by Jesus. Yeah, well, well, what's that? Well, we all know that Jesus died and after three days he rose again, right? Yeah, and, and he saved us, didn't he? He did save us. But did you know he also brought someone back to life? Huh? Yeah. So there's this amazing story that we can find in Mark. Okay, and, and what's it about? Well, Rosie, Jesus brought a young girl back to life. Uh, like, really? Y yes, really. Not just like Clay Clay pretended. No, no, she was, she was really, really dead. We see in the Bible that it says that her soul and her spirit had left her body, which means she died. And Jesus brought her back to life? Yep, Jesus brought her back to life. Now hold on here, we can't just say this. What actually happened? Sadie, can you believe this? <laughs> so Rosie, this is an amazing, amazing story. And it shows us just how powerful Jesus is. And that we can go to him with any, any problem. Oh, Alright. Well... Jesus was in town, Rosie, and people knew that he was in town, and someone's daughter, Jairus' daughter, was very, very ill. And he knew that if anyone could help her, it was Jesus. And, and, and so did he go and find Jesus? Yeah, he did. He went to Jesus and he said, please come help me. My, my daughter is ill and I need you to heal her. Yeah. So Jesus went and along the way he was stopped because someone else needed helping. Oh, the guy was in demand, Della. He was so good at all these miracles. Well, he wasn't so good at them. It was, he's the only person, Rosie, who could do them. And, and people who believed him wanted his help because they knew, they knew that he could help them. Wow, so, so he helped this person along the way? Yes, he did. And then did he get to Jairus' daughter in time? Well, when he got to Jairus' house, he saw that the girl was already dead. And everyone was telling him she's dead. And what did he say? Well, he said, no, she's just sleeping. Oh, oh, people would have laughed at him. Well, Rosie, people did laugh at him. Rosie, of course they would have laughed at him because they knew that she was dead. But Jesus knew that she was only sleeping to him because he could simply wake her up. That's how powerful he is? That's exactly how powerful he is. Death to him is, is like sleeping. So, so Della, well, what did he do? Well, he said to the little girl, Talita kum, which means, little girl, I say to you, get up, wake up. And did she? Rosie, she came back to life. <gasps> that must have been amazing to see. I'm sure it was, Rosie. But, but Della. Yes. What does this mean now? It means exactly that. No, no, as in, as in today, how does this apply to us? Well, Rosie, the little girl's father, Jairus, knew that if he could go to anyone, if anyone could help him, it would be Jesus. And, and Jesus did help him, didn't he? He did. So doesn't that mean for us, when we're in trouble, when, when we're sad or anxious or, or feeling down, or even happy and joyous and celebrating, can't we go to him too? And won't he be there for us too? Yeah, yeah, he, he would, Della. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this reminds me of, of the verse in the title. Oh, which one? Oh, the one about being dead. 
Okay, do you want to be more specific? Yes, the, the one where it says what did in our transgression. Tra transgressions? Yes, yeah, our transgressions. And Jesus saves us and we come alive again, you know, with him inside our hearts. Yeah, Rosie, so we can see here that how he can physically bring a girl back to life in the Bible. He can bring our hearts to life, can't he? Yeah, sure. That's a really cool story. No.